With the coming of March, many think of the coming of spring, but to most students and teachers, March marks the start of the dreaded MCAS testing. MCAS is a st state mandated system of testing beginning in 2001 that starts with its testing with children in third grade all the way to high school, covering subjects like English, math, and science. After many years of testing, students finally finish with the MCAS as sophomores if they pass all the tests. This form of testing is quite controversial in the world of education. Many think it's an outdated form of judging the education system and student progress, while others argue it's a simple and easy way to base off teaching off of and measure students' progress. Here in Rockland High School, we asked students and teachers for their opinion on MCAS testing. Here are some of the answers we received. Is MCAS a good way for schools to judge students academically? Um, I believe it is, but it is not because, like, someone might be smarter than someone else and the questions are almost the same. No. Mm, some people don't really test well. Yes. I think there's so many other things that are important that MCAS, the test, doesn't measure. However, it is a tool that lets us know how we're doing compared to other states and kind of where we stand as a school. No. Yeah. No. No. How does MCAS affect students and teachers? Um, it makes them like stress out and like, uh, yeah. Um, it puts more pressure like on the teachers to like teach the material and like it puts pressure on the students to execute. I know that most of the teachers do not like grading it and um, the students are not a fan of it at all. Either, so. um, I think it has a lot of stress to students and teachers probably don't like handing it up. It just puts more stress to the students and teachers because they have to prepare their students and stress is not good. Um, puts a lot of stress on the students and teachers. It affects students because it makes them stressed and teachers because it's a waste of a day so they don't get to teach. It stresses them out, it wastes time, it just doesn't do anything for anyone. It uh, definitely impacts us and impacts the curriculum. It impacts um, what we have to emphasize sometimes. As you'll see, uh, English, for example, is a four-year requirement. Uh, English, MCAS is sophomore year. Math as well is a three-year requirement, whereas some of the arts don't get as much of an emphasis because of MCAS. What are some of the things you hate about it? takes too long and it's work. Um, I hate mostly how the questions are worded. They could be worded a little easier for students to read. The time it takes to do it. Um, how long it takes. It's like a waste of a day. <laughs> the time, for example, in the English language arts section, you have two days of the reading. I hate how tests shouldn't judge a student's performance preparing and like it takes so long and then if you're done early you have to wait for everyone else to finish like when you finish first and then you have to wait for all the slow kids to finish are there, are there any positive effects from testing uh you learn new stuff sometimes yeah it can make you feel good if you do good yeah you kind of get a day off of school but you have to take a test. A, a lot of reading. Um, you know, just, just proving that you're smarter than everyone else. Yes, there are, which is um, students do benefit from it, from it if you do well on it. Um, yeah, because if like students do good, then it like makes the school look good. Um, yes, because if you do good, then you can get a scholarship, and it'll make the school look good. I mean, I guess if you do well, it looks good for your school and like everyone else. Even though most students in the Rockland education system still have to go through the painful process of MCAS, sophomores are wrapping up their experience with MCAS and will never have to deal with it ever again. As for the freshmen, they still have another year to go, but it is slowly coming to an end. From the tedious long composition essays to finding the area of a triangle, the sophomores have been through it all, and I'm sure they are happy that it's all over.